climate crisis is here. It's big, it's urgent, it's real, it's now. We know this. We're seeing it in forest fires in California, droughts in Spain, and flooding that's devastated millions of lives in Pakistan. We want to do something. We know something has to change. But when the forces we need to influence are so much bigger than ourselves, what can we do? So many of us are taking actions every single day in support of the planet. But what if there was one thing that had one of the biggest positive impacts on the climate, and most of us weren't doing it? Something that is 21 times more powerful than stopping flying, going vegetarian, and changing energy supplier combined. I'm talking about the choices we make with our money. In the words of environmentalist Bill McKibben, money is the oxygen on which the fire of global warming burns. Scientists have categorically stated that to avert climate disaster, we need to rapidly phase out fossil fuels now. That means no new coal, no new oil, no new gas. And yet, when we follow the money, we see that mainstream banks around the world have invested over $4.6 trillion in fossil fuel expansion since the Paris Agreement on Climate was signed in 2016. And in the UK, pension schemes enable the release of over 330 million tonnes of carbon every year. That's more than the country's entire carbon footprint. When we follow the money, we see that our financial institutions are not banking on our future. So what can we do about that? Well, this is our money. Our money is being put to work every single day. And for every one of us, who engages with a financial institution, whether that's through a bank account, a pension, an investment, we have power that we're sitting on right now. We can demand change, and we can move our money away from institutions who are continuing to back climate destruction towards institutions who are placing our planet's future at the forefront of their mission. Studies from Make My Money Matter show that switching to a greener pension is up to 21 times more powerful for climate impact than stopping flying, going vegetarian, and changing energy supplier combined. I'll say that one more time. Switching to a greener pension is up to 21 times more powerful for climate impact. We collectively have a critical role to play to show financial institutions and governments that we want our money used to protect the planet, not to destroy the planet and to destroy people's lives. By moving our money, what we call divesting, and engaging with these companies, we take away the permission that we give them to continue with business as usual. And this type of people power, hitting companies' bottom lines and reputations, works. In 2022, Lloyds Bank, one of the five major UK banks, committed to di ending direct financing of fossil fuel projects. And just a few weeks later, HSBC announced that they are ending the financing of new oil and gas fields. There are still big steps these institutions need to take, but it's a start. The rules of the game can be changed, and it's up to us to keep the pressure up. People power works. Not only does people power work, fossil fuel companies feel it. Shell have said that divestment could have a material adverse effect 
on their operations. People power works. And for every one of us, we have power in our pockets, our plastic, and our pensions to vote for the climate future we want. But as women, 51% of humankind, we're not using that power. There's a huge financial gap when it comes to women and finance. This financial gap comes in both the decisions we make, with the majority of women leaving their long-term finances to a husband or a spouse, to how much we're actually set to have in the long run. For example, a woman in her 20s is set to have £100,000 less at retirement than a man of the same age. This gender finance gap is no surprise when you consider that women weren't allowed to get a credit card or a mortgage without the signature of a man in countries like the UK and the US until as recently as the 1970s and in some cases the 1980s. One of the many reasons for this is because women were seen as delicate creatures who aren't capable of understanding important intellectual matters like finance. Over recent years, there's been a huge amount of attention on female financial empowerment. The idea of owning your worth and making more money. So much of the messaging I see is about women saving and investing for their futures which is important. But every time I see this messaging, I can't help but think, what's the point of getting rich on a planet that's on fire? And when it comes to the climate crisis, women are disproportionately affected. According to the UN, 80% of people displaced by climate disasters like floods and droughts are women and girls. Women need to be at the forefront of climate leadership. So how do we, as women, use our power and put our money to work for the planet? Well, the truth is, for many of us, topics like climate change and financial systems can feel a bit abstract, a bit complex a bit overwhelming. If it was just a case of no better, do better, then we'd have done it by now. But for many of us, especially women who often feel patronized and alienated by financial systems, we need more than just information alone. What if, instead of feeling overwhelmed, we felt lightness, empathy, joy. What if, instead of trying to take climate action with our money on our own, we did it with a little help from our friends? That's exactly what we've been doing at Money Movers, a movement of women coming together around dinner tables and Zoom rooms to talk about money and take climate action together. It's a simple initiative. Women volunteer and are trained up to host groups of their friends, their colleagues, their neighbours, and create brave, fun, supportive spaces. And over the course of three weeks, women learn with each other and from each other and start to dig deeper into these systems. It's incredible to see the journey women go on, from feeling daunted, overwhelmed, alone, to the buzz and power we feel when we actually start to get our heads around this stuff. I'm not saying that greening your finances has any easy answers. Money Movers does not give answers. But what it does give is the courage and connection that we need to keep looking into these topics. Through this social peer support model, there's a momentum that's created 
that helps you go from good intention, thinking that maybe I should start to look into my long-term finances and what that's doing to the planet, to actually making changes, to switching your bank account, moving your pension to a pension pot that's not investing in fossil fuels, or making a climate-friendly investment in something like a green energy scheme. And I can tell you that once you've done it, and you've made some changes supported by a group of women, you feel like a badass. When it comes to climate action, this works. So far, in our pilots, 140 women have moved 1.2 million pounds for the planet. And every woman has reported feeling more able to align her finances with her values. I am not an expert in finances. Truth be told, until Money Movers, I didn't really have a clue about my pension. But for as long as I can remember, I have felt the sharp sting of injustice because I've seen what happens when women and people of marginalized genders are at the mercy of decisions made by men and powers that be that affect their lives, both personally and politically. But I've also seen women sharing power with each other to protect themselves from these forces. For example, in the form of gold, which in my culture and many cultures is passed on from woman to woman, from generation to generation, so that women have at least some financial freedom to make choices about their lives and their futures. In a similar way, we have an opportunity as women to keep sharing power with each other in the form of knowledge about financial systems. We have an opportunity to keep learning, to keep asking questions, and to keep choosing to use our money to protect our futures and the future of the planet. At Money Movers, we're on a mission to grow this movement so that we have thousands of women coming together with each other, and yes, with the men in our lives, to use our power and vote for the climate future we want. A future we feel proud to pass on to our children and to future generations. When it comes to the climate crisis, our money is powerful. And we can't leave it up to those already in positions of power to do the right thing with it. Climate change needs all of us, especially women. When we act collectively, we have so much more power than we could ever imagine. So let's use our power and move our money for the planet.